stinking incredible. Why is this finger doing this? Pretty stinking boring. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today. And this was definitely one of those weeks where I pretty much wore the same things over and over and just kept repeating them. So this was a week of like favorites that I couldn't put down. You know what I mean? So I'm excited to share, especially one thing that I'm like head over heels blown away by. So let's jump into it. So nothing on my nails this week, but as far as eye favorites go, I started out loving my Morphe 35F palette. So I'm gonna revisit that next week because I thought that was gonna be like my standout for the week because when I used it, I loved it. But then I got this one and this like totally just blew me away and I couldn't put this one down. So this is my favorite for this week. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. This is my first palette from her. I've never had any of the others. I got this one because it's supposed to be permanent. And the reason I've never gotten any of the others is because they sell out so quickly. Then I just have it sitting in my collection and I can't use it in videos really. I can't really talk about it. So I'd always skip the other ones, but I'd heard that they were really nice. I was always tempted by them, but I never got them. So this is the first one I've gotten from her. And oh my gosh, like, I just love this palette. I don't really like the packaging. I mean, I like it. I think it's pretty. I think it feels nice, but it's already getting makeup on it and it's kind of getting, you know, dirty already. So that makes me sad. So the packaging isn't like my favorite, this sort of material, but everything else I absolutely love. You do get a double-sided uh, double-ended brush that's actually, you know, not bad, but these shadows are stinking incredible. Oh my gosh. I mean, just such like perfect formula on them. It's like they blend like a dream. They're pigmented and they're slightly soft. Like you can see a little bit of kick up in the um, pan or in the palette. So they're a little bit soft, but not to the point where it's a problem. It's just like they're soft enough to blend really, really well. Why is this finger doing this? I don't know. But it's just like they are they have a good formula where they blend really well. They work together so nicely. I mean, the colors just come together to create this really beautiful, warm, sunsetty sort of eye look. And they wear really well throughout the day. I mean, I'm like blown away by them blown away. So now I'm going to be extra tempted if she comes out with more palettes that are limited edition. I'm going to want them, but I don't know. I'm really careful about limited edition stuff. I don't buy a ton of it unless I'm specifically wanting to review it for you guys. So yeah, that's why I got this one because it's permanent. I already told you that, but I'm loving it. I think it's amazing. So let me know if you want me to do some sort of a video with it, either a more in-depth review or a tutorial or something like that. Get ready with me. Just let me know, but just know I love it. For blush this week, I revisited two old favorites of mine. First is Jordana's Rose Silk. This seems like a fan favorite, but I don't know if I've really heard as many people talk about it recently, but I know that like when people have talked about Jordana blushes, I feel like I've heard more things about Rose Silk than a lot of other shades, but it is just a beautiful neutral pink. It's gorgeous. It's pretty much matte. I mean, sometimes I feel like a lot of things that are matte end up looking kind of satiny on me, like especially when I'm doing a swatch of them. I don't know why, but it's like a satin matte sort of a situation. And it's just a beautiful pink. Like if you're looking for a beautiful neutral pink blush at an affordable price, these are like two or three dollars. This is a great one to get. Wears really well throughout the day. Like I have no negatives to say about these unless I know that some of the ingredients aren't supposed to be all that great because it's a less expensive product. You kind of sacrifice on ingredients. So ingredients might not be the best, but as far as performance and how it looks, it's beautiful. I love it. So Rose Silk was one of my favorites this week. And then good old NARS Madly. I feel like this is one of those blushes that if you get it, you'll get a lot of use out of it because it's just so neutral. It's very, very neutral. And I even feel like in the pan and in a swatch, it looks pretty stinking boring. Like right here, it looks, looks very tan. And I mean, it is tan, kind of. In a swatch, it looks tan. Like it looks almost like a bronzer, but I feel like on my face, it looks more kind of 
corally and warm tone so it's almost like it comes alive once it's on your skin so it's one of those like don't judge it by a swatch because it ain't all that impressive in a swatch <laughs> but it is one of those I mean even right there even this color that's one of those it's going to balance any kind of an eye look and I was kind of having to balance my eye look this week because I ended up with a lot of these kind of looks you know those sort of reddish tones they come together and they make a pretty intense eye look really pretty but pretty intense so I needed something to kind of balance it and this was perfect for that it was actually one day like I did this really intense eye look and then I remembered oh poop I have to go to a conference tonight so I thought I'm a little overboard <laughs> so this is a little tip that I do like if I do an eye look and then I remember oh this is probably not appropriate like the intensity for what I'm going to tonight like or today like a you know work sort of function so what I do is I get just my face powder and get a really fluffy brush and just kind of go over my eye look and it brings it down a notch like it just softens everything and just makes it less intense so it's kind of a quick fix so that's you know one of my little tips if I realize whoopsie went a little crazy with my makeup that's what I do just softens everything so yeah that was a tangent but I left madly. For lips this week, I had to wear ColourPop's Molly. I just could not wait to wear it because it's amazing. Like, it is the most beautiful, I don't even know. It's, it's really like a hybrid between purple, pink, and mauve. It's right in between all those. Because, I mean, yeah, it's right in between those. Like, it sort of looks like it's going to be a, like a bright fuchsia pink, but then it's got a lot more purple in it and then it's got that like subdued quality that kind of like grayish mauvey tone to it it's just beautiful it's still like a statement lip um but i just love it because i feel like it's in between bright statement fall lip it's sort of like right in between them all and it is beautiful ashley my best friend texts to mommy of boys she's the one that got me to get this and looked amazing on her and I love it. I'm so glad I got it. It's awesome. This is a must-have from ColourPop. And this is one of their Ultra Satin Lips, and I do like the formula on these. Like, it kind of sets down a little bit, but doesn't ever set down to, like, fully crazy matte where it's super uncomfortable. Um, so I just feel like it's a lot easier to wear. You know what I mean? Moves around more, not as, like, ironclad, not going to move, but when it does move it wears off a little bit more evenly and not quite so funky like a lot of liquid lipsticks do anyway i like the formula of these and i love the color i pretty much wore this lipstick almost every single day this week this is milani's dolce caramello caramello and i mean it's pretty much a nude but it just has this beautiful dimension to it so it's kind of kind of metallic but not super duper intense metallic so I mean I wore this to work functions and I felt totally comfortable um it just is like a nude with some dimension to it so it's got just a little bit of like a gold flashing it's really pretty so it's it's like a special sort of a nude you know what I mean it's got something special going on to it and I find it to be fairly long wearing like I don't know if it's just because it's at slightly metallic sort of a finish to it it really does seem to stick to the lips and stick around for a good amount of time it is one of those that you kind of have to build it up like first pass let me try to show you like one quick pass it's more like this where it's lighter and not as intense so you can go with something like that or you can build it up and have you know more of that intense i don't know more opaque nude kind of a color but it is beautiful and I just like this lived in my purse I just kept grabbing for it this week and really enjoyed it I am so excited that the Rimmel Kate I think this is called the nude collection has finally landed in the US it seems like forever that we've been waiting on this collection so it's finally here I found mine at Walmart I'm not sure if it's gonna be sold other places but that's where I found mine. They were like $4.97 a piece. Now I did purchase a few of the colors, some of the UK colors, which US, um, we have more colors than the UK. So we have the UK colors and then more colors as I understand it. So I bought some of the UK colors that we also now have too um, on a website a couple of months ago. So I think I got like four colors then or four of the shades and early colors, they're all nudes. So I got four of the nudes a few months ago and I really liked those. 
but then I got one other shade on the display that I found. This is number 41. It's what I've got on my lips right now. I stink and love this lipstick. It is so comfortable. Just a, I mean, it's your run of the mill, comfortable, nice lipstick. It's not like it's profound or anything especially amazing or different, but it's just a good lipstick. And I love this color because it's that like perfect combo of a nude and a peach and just a smidgen of pink in there. It's so pretty. So I feel like I would describe it as like a really sweet, like girly nude. You know what I mean? Like a, I don't know, slightly springtime sort of a nude, but not really. I mean, it's just a, you know, you don't have to wear this in the spring, but something about it feels a little bit springtime and extra sweet to me. So pretty. I love it. So there's one other shade I want, but it was sold out on the display. It wasn't there anymore. So I'm really excited that this is finally here. I need to do an Instagram picture. So I'll try to remember to do that where I take a picture of swatches of all the ones that I have. Cause I think I have, I think I have either five or six at this point. So at least I've had, I would have a few swatches to show you. So I will try to remember to do that soon. I do have a Fooey this week. This is the Laura Mercier Eye Basics and this is in the shade Flax. So I guess this is supposed to be kind of like an eye primer base sort of situation. And the reason this is a Fooey for me is because the day that I use this as my base and my primer, my eyeshadow just did not last well. And I didn't even really realize like that this was the culprit at first because I kind of forgot I'd used it that day. But I did notice like, one day I did my eye makeup, it wore really well, looked pretty at the end of the day. Next day I did a very similar eye look and at the end of the day it was just like kind of a little bit faded and a little bit more creasy than usual and I thought, what's going on? And then I remember that I had used this. So, you know, eye primers and bases I feel like are so specific for the person. This is pretty much kind of like a, it's like a yellowy, creamy sort of a shade you know, nudish sort of a color. You know, these are so dependent. These kind of products are so dependent on the person. I mean, it's just, it's a case by case sort of a thing and what kind of primers you like and what works best for you. But for me personally, this didn't cut it. So disappointing because I mean, it is nice that it like gives you kind of like a base and covers up, you know, veining on your eyelids and all that kind of situation. But as far as helping your eyeshadows last, no go for me. All right guys, so those are all my favorites and my fooey for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.